You ready for us? Welcome. This is how I live. To Willie Gale's room. And they are my lovely flowers. It's what one might expect in a nursing home. Small, but tidy. I know how to clean, sew, wash. A few special photos. And some pictures of some friends of mine I met since I've been here. Make the space feel here. like his own. But one piece of paper that hangs by his chair. Oh, this is very important to me. Has become his prized possession. To all whom these presents shall come, greetings. These words. Willie Edward Gales, after being convicted and sentenced for crimes. Return something. Executive completed review of the particular of the individual's case. Willie hasn't had. Whereas it seems appropriate to the executive to remove certain of these political disabilities by restoring the rights to vote. For nearly 30 years. Well, I lost my voting rights. Well, I haven't been such a good guy all my life. Young, foolish, doing things young guys do. The 64-year-old was convicted of his first crime in 1996. It was an ongoing thing that I just couldn't stay out of jails. I wound up in prisons. He spent most of his 40s behind bars. No family, no friends. I don't even want to think about it. But by 2009, the Mecklenburg County native was released from prison and returned to his job in Richmond as a builder. So I got away from all the drama and the, and the crazy mess, and I'm like, man, it's time to quit. Stop. His past in the rearview mirror, but Willie was still alone. In 2017, he battled colon cancer. And I wouldn't wish that on nobody, even, not even my worst enemy. And a toe amputation in January 2023 landed him here. Hello, how are you? Chase City Health and Rehab. I was feeling some kind of way when I first came in. Giving up his independence, a tough pill to swallow. Don't you say nothing about my feet. That's the way I was feeling. That's the way I was thinking. <laughs> but it didn't take long for Gales to recognize this place gave him something he'd been missing. It feels good to interact with uh, people again. <laughs> people like... Don't get jealous, man. Bingo rival, Ernest Robertson. The fun and thrill of the game is waiting for that last number. Whose room is just a few doors down. Because I know everybody and they know me. Born and raised in this two square mile town, Robertson shares a past with Gales that isn't just fun and games. When I was 42 years old and I got arrested for selling crack. The now 73-year-old served a total of 18 months in jail and finally got off parole in 1999. But he wasn't free from his battle with substance abuse. Sometimes you can look in your mirror and look at yourself and you don't like what you see. You get tired of looking at that. Foot issues last January eventually led Robertson to seek care at this facility. Oh, I was a mess. Henry <laughs> just didn't want to do anything. But his friendship with Gales. You know, we share our story with each other, you know. You know, so that, I don't know, man. It's just that it don't start me to cry. And I, I'm easy to cry, so. <laughs> and his instant bond with this woman, the nursing home's director of admissions, Melissa Price. It's like we were supposed to connect in this setting. Gave Robertson hope. Well, I got a couple of ladies I call my angels because they have been here with me all the way through. At first, the nursing home's designated greeter and music man didn't want his new friends to get a glimpse at his dark past. I didn't like myself. But a conversation about November's election brought those secrets to the surface. So he shared with me that he couldn't vote and uh, he had made some choices in life and that was the end of it. And I thought, it's not the end, it's the beginning. Price and another staff member informed both Robertson and Gales they were eligible to have their rights restored. I always want to have my, because if you're not voting, you have no say so. They helped the pair submit applications to the governor's office. It literally took us four minutes to fill out, and then we just waited. A few weeks later, more than 20 years since Gales and Robertson's arrest and convictions, their second chances arrived via mail. So I went to the front lobby and I seen this big manila envelope, and I seen, you know, the government symbol, and I seen his name, and I thought, oh my goodness, it's here. Like, this, this is it. And, and she looked at him, read it, and seeing that gold seal, that was a home run. 
Like his buddy down the hall, Robertson has his laminated letter on display. It means a whole lot to me. A whole lot. I got a voice now. Yeah, I didn't have a voice at first, now I have a voice. While Robertson and Gales can now vote, serve on a jury, and run for public office in this land of the free, they've also found a place they're proud to call home. We are very lucky. This is my family. Yeah. The road doesn't end at Chase City Health and Rehab for these two pals. Each one of us have our journey, but our journey, we're supposed to learn something from to pass on to somebody else. Because they didn't come to a nursing home to die. In fact, it's where they finally feel like they're living. I think the Lord is not through with us yet. I think the Lord has some other things he wants us to do. Oh, yeah.